Okay, quick video of the cheap and easy build. I was uh, looking at this online and I built it and uh, like I was saying, it was, I found it a little flimsy from front to back, from here to here, because uh, I didn't find it that these were enough to stiffen the foam in between, so I would mentioned I was going to put a KF1 and someone had actually asked about mounting um, foam surface to surface like you see here and I gave a couple of tips and I'll show you how I did it very quickly. I'll, I won't show you the actual process I stepped through but as you can see there's there's actually three layers of foam here the one on top which accommodates this okay for to the support for the uh, the stick mount this stick mount is made out of balsa so it's extremely light and um, I'll just flip it over real quick here and as you can see that's the uh, the KF foil it's a KF1 that I put on there it's about 40 percent I didn't measure it off exactly but it's the, it's pretty close like 38 percent or something which is close enough and what I did was um, in under this between these two services I took a glue stick and uh, the one we get it around here is the, the, the cheapest one is Prit you can get Uhu or Pour or whatever they call them and I took the back side of this one uh, this piece here on the top and I rubbed the glue stick on that and then I put it down on top now the glue stick adhesive doesn't dry instantly and what it does is it will actually slide when you put it down you can actually slide it around so what I did was I made sure my shape was right and, and my angle cuts were uh, my, my tapering was in place I put it down on the surface and made sure it was flat and then what I did is I put a toothpick in here another one about here another one over here another one down in the back here and then I ran I don't know how well you'll be able to see that but I, I ran a, um, a bead of glue there actually there I ran a bead of glue up there with a glue gun on the edges to tack the edges down and then I took the um, the uh, toothpicks out and let it set overnight so it's actually pretty solid it won't move and then as you can see okay when I put it in the side in order to flex this I'm gonna do this with my hand as you can see the airframe itself doesn't flex anywhere as much as it does I'm actually applying quite a bit of pressure to do that if I apply much more it's actually gonna snap the foam which I don't want to do um, but it's from there to there and something else that I did a little change that I did which um, I put the wingtip to wingtip support across the back there I put it on the bottom side as opposed to on the top like they show here mainly because um, somewhere in my my building my I put the stabilizers on I put this on and I didn't put the support started across and I thought well how the hell am I gonna put the hole through there without making a mess of it so instead of making a mess I put it on the bottom it seems to do the same thing it's it's um, across the back as far as the CG goes I mean CG is whoops CG is pretty much right up, whoops keep losing my grip on it is right about where the motor is gonna go it's a little tail heavy at the moment but when I put the motor on up here it will uh, balance itself out but it's it's like I said it's it's three layers of foam it's tapered off it's it's on a KF1 um, foil and as you can see there uh, I put it on it's it's pretty pretty straightforward pretty basic uh, in what I did but that reinforcement I found stopped the flexing from the nose to the tail uh, by a great deal anyway just a quick video there it is I'm gonna paint it put the electronics on it tonight get everything in place and set it up and uh, with a little luck if the weather's good tomorrow I hope uh, it's raining today but uh, if the weather's good tomorrow I may be able to get this one out and get a good uh, maiden on it and see how it goes tomorrow I may have to play around with the CG a little bit but that's all par for the course when you build these things anyway there you go